This year's July was jam-packed with birthdays, events, and we were just always doing something this month. We actually went to the Hard Rock Hotel pool party, and then in the middle of the month, it was actually my cousin's birthday, so we celebrated with her and the family. My cousin's making me take a shot. I'm not making you take it. <laughs> First of all, I just got strawberry in my mouth. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm about to go sober living, guys. Ready? We <laughs> didn't even take a shot. There's still more. There's still more. There's still more. I know. Don't feel it. You're afraid you're not even, there's nothing even in that cup. For real. I'm afraid. Why do you have this on camera? <laughs> But then your mouth is sour. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not order a beer? Yeah, I did. They're still um, harvesting the hops. Wait. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what your your Yes, it's the one from when we were kids. I know that is so ugly. <laughs> the side face. Oh, the yeah. side. Face. We should redo it. Redo the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the original? <laughs> All right, so welcome back to my channel. I forgot I was still recording. Today we're at Brigantine. Dang, lady, my mom. I thought I'd be doing on TikTok, right? Fancy. Maybe right there. We ended up getting like a steak and mashed potatoes and it was a fire. Dear Alyssa, <laughs> happy birthday to you. Okay. I know. And a brunch left the girls group chat, which is amazing to catch up with my two best friends and just grab brunch with the girls. I to do like a pack and prep with me. We are going to Mexico, so excited. We are actually going this weekend to Rosarito and Papa's and Beer for my cousin and my best friend's birthdays. We've been planning this for like two months. Everyone's kind of like excited and nervous because it's like Mexico, but also like, yeah. This is gonna be the first trip that I've had with all of our friends. Our first trip I had <laughs> with all of our friends, like me and Kay's friends all like mashed up and then as well as like my cousin, her friends and her boyfriend's friends so it's gonna be a great time i'm so excited today i am actually waiting for my boyfriend to pick me up if you didn't know i actually popped my tire in my car a couple weeks ago and i just like don't want to buy new ones because number one i work from home and i really don't ever drive anywhere so i'm like uh, there's no reason really for me to buy a new tire and i also wanted to buy a whole set so i'm currently like saving up for a whole set so he's just been driving me around everywhere and i'm so thankful for him so waiting for him to pick me up so we can go to my eyebrow appointment I'm going to my girl. I'm getting like the whole shebang with what was I gonna say the lamination the tint the wax all of that stuff I was growing growing some eyebrow hairs like down here. So it's perfect timing I also asked if she can like squeeze me in right before we left tomorrow. We're leaving super early I have not packed anything I kind of have ideas of what I wanted to pack and I also bought some stuff for the trip specifically So it shouldn't take me that long to pack other day I also got my toes done and I haven't gotten my toes done in like months and I just try to do them myself but I was like like, no, let me go and get my toes done for Mexico because, yeah, it's a girl thing. I didn't get my nails done. Again, I don't have my car, so I can't drive up to my cousin's nail place, but they still look okay. Like, they're obviously grown out, but they still look good. They do feel like they. I need a new set if you know, you know. My best friend is coming tonight to sleep over because we are leaving tomorrow really early. I'm also going to vlog this weekend, so that'll be super exciting and fun. I do really want a coffee. I made a coffee this morning, and I've been making my own oat milk lately. But let me tell y'all, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I follow all the directions and everything and it still tastes weird. Maybe it's the type of oats that I got. I'm gonna double check that. Yeah, not really my favorite. I don't want to go back to buying oat milk again, but 
I might have to <laughs> until I figure out the perfect recipe and everything. So I actually took an everything shower this morning and it felt so good. I was gonna wait to do my shower tomorrow, but since we are leaving so early, I didn't wanna wake up at like six in the morning or anything like that. Also, I'll have my eyebrows done so I can't even wet my face in that area anyway. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do my everything shower today. And that way tomorrow I can just get up, do my makeup change and then leave. Cause I don't like being late and I don't like when people wait on me. I guess we'll do a fit check while he's on the way. My top is, I don't even know, it's probably from Fashion Q. I've had this since like college. My shorts are from Shein, unfortunately. Sorry y'all. And then my shoes are the Nikes. And then I'm wearing my bag that I just realized has nothing in it. That is a fat spider. Oh my god. Do y'all see this sh I know y'all see that spider. Oh hell no. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're gonna walk the other way. Deal with that later. That was literally such a big web. That was a bit much. This bag didn't need to go that hard. I forgot I was using this bag. All my stuff in here. I don't even know why I carry a bag and a wallet. I don't even carry my keys with me anymore because I don't drive anywhere. That spider was huge. I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of it. Because what the fuck? I was like, that spider just watched me take a photo of it. Then, of course, I went to my appointment. <laughs> that feels so funny. <laughs> After my appointment, we went across the street to get some coffee, and this is my first time here this month, and it was actually really good that I came back again later in the month to do some work. You guys, I literally just had like a 30-minute conversation with y'all, and my camera was not recording the whole entire time. I feel so dumb. What I was saying was, I'm just laying down on our bed because it is so hot in the house. I really need to pack and get this over with because I sometimes can take forever to pack because I just overthink everything and I try not to overpack. So yeah, I'm just laying in bed until I find the courage and the strength to pack because it is so hot. I'm in our room laying on our sheets. We just changed our sheets to these like silk sheets and I feel like it's so much hotter than our other sheets, which is probably true. We have a ceiling fan in our room and I'm trying to reap the benefits of the fan. Yesterday was the hottest day of the week and our AC stopped working. Today the boys went down and like rinsed out the AC unit and stuff and then Kay figured out that our fuse blew so our landlord is trying to get someone to come here and fix it hopefully today because yeah girl was struggling yesterday in the heat. I'm already like a warm person like my body temperature is already I feel like warmer than everybody else. Me in the heat is just not it. I was having like a freaking aneurysm every five minutes yesterday because it was so hot and Kay was like just sit down and like relax but I like was trying everything I was like opening the windows opening doors figuring out the AC again nothing was working so I wanted to bring my carry-on I think my best friend's gonna bring her carry-on but she's an overpacker so it's probably best that she brings her carry-on but I think I'm just gonna do what my black backpack that I always travel with and then a duffel bag because we'll only really be there for like a day we're leaving tomorrow really early and I'm probably just gonna wear my outfit there and then bring an outfit for dinner and then tomorrow we'll be at Papa's and Beer. Don't really need to bring anything crazy. A couple swimsuits and like two pairs of shoes. Eventually, I was like, okay, I really need to pack. So I started grabbing all the stuff from my closet. You can tell that I'm so sweaty. Pack with me for Mexico. I'm just gonna bring this duffel and then a backpack, just like a regular backpack that I got at Target. Hopefully everything fits. We're only gonna be there for like a day. Okay, first things first, I'm bringing this top that I just bought. It's like orange and pink. I don't know. And then I just brought some denim shorts. I like to put my shirt inside of my shorts and then like roll it up. That's how I know like, okay, like this is an outfit. <laughs> the other outfit I'm bringing is the tube top, royal blue tube top. That looks so blue on camera. Skirt to match along with it. And I'll probably wear this for dinner on Friday, so tomorrow when we do like a bit of a nicer dinner. I'm also bringing this dress so I can make this look properly it's like that that looks crazy that doesn't even look like a piece of actual clothing but it's like those dresses that are like this and there's like a big cutout and it's like a little bit of like a longer maxi dress just in case the blue is too blue you know what i mean it's another outfit i think also i'm gonna wear this outfit tomorrow it is just like a white waffle top and some shorts i wore the top in my june vlog already but i want to wear the set tomorrow hopefully if i don't change my mind so this is probably what I'm wearing tomorrow while we're like crossing the border and all that stuff. I'm bringing an extra gray tank top just in case. 
and I also bought a pair of sleeping clothes. I just brought some Nike short and then just a plain like t-shirt to sleep in. I also always bring a pair of Spanx. These are just Nike pros that I've had forever. So I always bring those, especially like to wear those under my dresses. I'm bringing two bathing suits. I brought this purple one that has like this heart in the middle and then the bottoms also have the heart, which is really cute. Really cute. So this one, I'm gonna bring this green one that's like checkered print. Kay has some matching swim trunks to this color, so I think we're gonna wear this on, no, tomorrow, Saturday. And then I brought one cover-up dress. This one, I also brought similar crochet style, but in like shorts. I put those in my little Telfy Z duster. I probably won't end up wearing this purple one unless we go again to like the beach or something. So brought like obviously like bras, underwear, socks. I'm gonna try to put all of this here now which is the struggle the easy part is like figuring out what you kind of want to wear the hard part is getting it to fit so far we're looking good for shoes i'm bringing some of these just regular 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 sandals let's go and pack some of my toiletries i usually don't pack my toiletries the empty toilet paper roll is crazy i usually don't pack my toiletries i pack like half of it the day before and then the day of i'll pack the rest of it like obviously because i still have to get ready but all my makeup pretty much fits in this little bag which i might have to condense because it's a little big but all of my skincare goes in this mark jacobs bag and i already have like a little perfume bottle in there random stuff that i should throw I also have this little part that goes to my face wash that like when you buy it, it comes with it and I keep it just in case I travel with the whole bottle. Probably won't be. So that's done for now. And then this is pretty much good to go until tomorrow morning where I put like my makeup and my toiletries in here and I do that the next day but that's already pre-packed so it'll be easy for me to just throw it in there and then call it a day. This was me and my best friend the next morning getting ready to head to Mexico and if you haven't seen my Mexico vlog yet, it is definitely up and probably the video right before this. If you've never been to Mexico or you haven't seen that vlog yet, I highly recommend you go watch it because we had so much fun and it was great. 10 out of 10 would definitely go back. I bought shirt with my boyfriend's face on it. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very busy day. I might even do like a weekend in my life as a like content creator, social media video editor, social media manager, influencer, girlfriend of an artist, all of the above. Um, it's Friday, I'm about to start work, it's 8.58. So many things to do today. Um, tomorrow, luckily, we're not doing anything. Sunday, we are doing, um, we're going to a friend's birthday, but today is a very busy day. I'm still a little bit sick, but it's starting to go away. This is like the first day I woke up and I felt like a little better. My sinuses are a little bit rough right now, leaking from my nose, which is good because that means all of the like sickness is like wanting to come out now, which is great. Today I have work and then right after work, I have to get ready and then we have to go to this like Barbie event that I got invited to. I really wanted to watch the movie, but they didn't have a whole bunch of seats available. And then by the time I RSVP'd, all the seats were gone. It only would have been for one seat, which meant that Kay wouldn't be able to watch it with me, which does suck, but perfectly fine. We're just going to cocktail hour. And it also worked out because he does have a performance right after. Right after work, I'm going to get ready for the Barbie movie, go to the cocktail hour and then go to his performance right after and I just it's so crazy because I remember like not even a year ago maybe we were talking about this we're in the Barbie fit not in the Barbie car, like a Barbie car. Uh, I guess I'm not aggressive. I'm not Barbie car. the Barbie car I drove all the way to the lot in La Jolla and it's crazy to be back in this area because I used to be like a nanny slash personal assistant up here and it's really crazy to see how far I've gone in the last couple months. But nonetheless, I was so honored to be part of this event and I just had a feeling that I was going to go to a Barbie event this year and I'm so glad that I actually came true. But growing up, I was actually really shy and I tried so hard to make some friends here but I just couldn't help but get in my own head. Definitely something that I'm working on but we went straight right after the cocktail hour from La Jolla to pb to the music company where Kay did his performance we literally changed in the bathroom and then headed back out to mingle Stop 
Also, my mom's birthday falls in the month of July, so we celebrated her birthday with her friends and some family, and it was a lot of fun. Our really close friends also decided to throw a birthday slash housewarming party, and it was Japanese theme, so me and Kay decided to show up in theme. Little did we know we'd be the only one dressed in theme, but it was still pretty fun nonetheless. And then, of course, the girlies took a shot together. I appreciate y'all for coming through. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. And hold on. Hold on. Okay, Yo, give me a kiss. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We also celebrated my friend Tina's birthday this month, and she invited us to do swimming at an Airbnb, and it was so cute and so much fun. She literally cooked a whole bunch of food for us, invited us for drinks, and took care of everything, and it was just a wholesome, fun summer night. Towards the end of the month, our Wi-Fi actually cut out, so I ended up Ubering to the same coffee shop that you saw in the beginning of this video and taking care of a whole bunch of work. I made a whole reel on this day. If you want to see it, check it out on my Instagram. But that's what I did in July, and I can't wait to show you guys what happened in August.